Earlier versions of Photoshop didn't let you edit text once you created and added it. But in the more recent versions, we almost have many word processing going on in there. I'll show you a few essentials. We can open any file we want to, like this one here. And when we want to add text, we give a click on the regular type tool. There are a couple of others, but I'll use the horizontal type tool for now. We can go to the options panel at the top, right off the bat, and select things like font and size. I'll go with the font here, artist stamp medium, and a reasonable size like 18 points. We can also select color, and for demonstration and for readability, I'll go ahead and click on the color picker, and I'll just go ahead and select a bright red. We can specify left, center, or right alignment, as we can see here. I'll just go with center for the time being. Then we move the cursor down into the picture, approximately where we want the text to go. We have a click and type whatever it is we want to type. Usually once this is done, we need to move the text a bit in the image, but since the text is in its own layer, this is easy. We can switch to the Move tool, the simplest thing, and uh, make sure the layer is selected over in the Layers panel. Put the cursor on the text and just grab and drag. Position it wherever we see fit. This moves it like a graphic and doesn't change or distort the text. But there are a couple of extra benefits to having it in a text layer. One is, if we need to change font, size, color, etc., we again make sure the layer is selected in the panel. We uh, go over and reselect our type tool. And we can go ahead and make whatever modifications. If I want to change the font, let's say to Bookman Old Style. If I wanted to change the size, uh, make it larger, smaller. And if I wanted to change the color, easy enough. And just OK out of the picker when I'm done. If we wanted to change the text itself, that is, if we wanted to change what the text said, we can actually click right in the text. Just have to be careful about clicking in the text and not outside of it. Otherwise, the program thinks we're going to create a new text layer. But changing what the text says, we can click, use whatever keys on the keyboard. So again, very simple. If we move outside the text before we start clicking and typing, you may have noticed the iBeam cursor showed up with a dotted box around it. That was the indicator for a new text layer. So we just have to watch where we click, as I said. We can even delete the text without messing anything else up and start over if we wish. We can just go to the Layers panel, and grab a hold of the text layer, drag it to the trash can at the bottom, and poof, away it goes. So until we flatten the image, or merge the text layer with any others, we're flexible.